All right, guys. So we are talking about God's plan. It's not as complicated as you may think. So we've all heard the saying that God has a plan for our life. Our parents talk about it. Um, you probably heard me and Mr. Kevin talk about it. You've heard other people at church talk about it. But sometimes if we're honest, it just ends up freaking you out, doesn't it? So the simple thing is, though, God's plan for our lives isn't as complicated as we may think it is. So in the Old Testament, you can think back to Abram. Y'all may remember him as Abraham, right? So in the Old Testament, we're all the way back in Genesis 12, 1. It says that God told Abram to leave his nation and go to a place he would show him. So he's literally telling him, hey, pack up your stuff. You're going to move out and you're going to go somewhere. But I'm not exactly telling you where, right? So this is a place that we haven't even heard of yet. That's pretty intimidating and pretty scary stuff, right? So in, but yet in Genesis 12, 4, it says that Abram departed as the Lord instructed. So yeah, there's probably some tears and some, a lot of nervous energy, a lot of, holy crap, what am I doing? Maybe even bitterness. Yeah, I mean, you're having to leave everything you've ever known and kind of thought of mm. and go somewhere. And God never even gave Abram that blueprint. He, Abram did not have the Bible like we do, right? He just kind of had to go on. God said for you to go, so let's go. He, God left out a lot of detail, and Abram was probably pretty uncomfortable with it all, right? So God only gave Abram instructions for the very next thing he wanted him to do. And spoiler alert, because of his obedience, God later changed his name from Abram to Abraham, which means the father of many. And Abraham went on to become a father of many nations. In fact, Abram begins again in Hebrews 11. He's kind of in the faith hall of fame, if you will, right? He's kind of one of those guys that we know is a great example of living by faith and doing what God said and following God's plan, right? even when he could only see what that next step was. Abram certainly wasn't perfect. I mean, if you read the story, he lied to a lot of people. And more than once, he told his wife, hey, just pretend like you're my sister. That way they won't kill us. You think that's what God had planned? No, probably not, because his wife was actually taken as a wife for somebody else because of his... He was scared. He was yeah, scared he was for terrified his for his own life there. But that didn't matter. God's plan was still coming and still happening. So when it comes to God's plan for our lives, often that's how God works. He only gives us the next step, the next little piece that we need to follow. And speaking to us through his word or the Bible, and he provides us for the next few steps. That's all God's plan really is. It's a series of next steps. And we're walking in obedience in those next steps to God. In Psalms 119, 105, it says, God's word is a lamp into our feet and a light into our path. This verse wasn't talking about the physical lamp that you have in a bedroom that lights up your whole room. Rather, this verse was, report, was referring to what we would say like a small candle. If you have a small candle, it only provides a little bit of light, and so you're only able to see that next step or that next little bit right in front of you. So it's probably like going into a pitch black room with a tiny flashlight. You're only going to see a few steps ahead, and that's got what God has planned for you is those next few steps. Like Abraham, God isn't going to give us the full blueprint of our lives. I mean, that would kind of freak me out. If he said, hey, for the next hundred years, you've got this, this, and this, and this planned. He knows we as humans can't handle that. I know I can't handle that. That would completely freak me out. Although it would be kind of cool to know, well, you're going to survive all these crazy things and all these crazy days because you're, this isn't how it ends for you. This isn't how your story ends. But if he did that, we wouldn't need to live by faith and trust him. Rather, God wants to speak to us through his word and trust Christ and his followers. We have to go, keep going to that very next thing one step at a time. So that was what I had for today is talking about God's plan for our life. And there's a lot of crazy things, a lot of things we're not quite sure of. And what's the next step? Where do I go? Um, some of y'all are looking at 
you know, college, jobs, um, what am I going to do after school? Some of y'all, you know, may be looking at, well, what am I even doing in school? What, what courses am I going to take in high school? You know, there's a lot of uncertainty and a lot of questions there. I mean, for me and Kevin, you know, we don't exactly know what's going to happen with our jobs. We're not guaranteed anything. We're not guaranteed that, you know, we won't go there. There's a lot of stuff that could happen, but we just have to have faith that God is going to provide for us and he's going to show us one step at a time. And that's the next step that we need to make. Okay. So anybody have any questions?